Hello, I just wanted to kind of give you a quick and dirty rundown of the Mr. Buddy heaters. Um, this one right here, this is the Mr. Buddy heater, the Big Buddy heater. And you can tell because it has two of the ceramic plates. I don't have a portable Buddy here to show you, um, but the portable Buddy looks exactly like this, except for it's missing a plate, so it's of course smaller. And also it only has room for one tank. These open up. This is the best part about like these um, to be portable. You can swivel this, I like that. And then just hook these one pound canisters. And on the Big Buddy heater, which um, this one is, it holds two heaters or two, two one gallon tanks and they both swivel. So if you want to be portable, like if you're heading to the ballpark, um, say we're in a grab and go situation where you're going to, you know, you need to get out of town or go to a shelter. This is great to grab um, with, you know, the, or to a ball game um, with just the little one pound canisters. For emergency preparedness purposes, I like this option. And this hose comes in, it comes separately unless you buy it in the big buddy package the thing that i love about this particular hose is that it's a quick connect so you just pop that on and off instead of having to screw it in in a tight um you know like can get your fingers all kind of mangled in there so it just pops in pops on and pops off and it comes with um, a 12 foot hose so you can see this 12 foot hose over here that I've got connected to it, um, to these 20 pound um, propane tanks. And then in the background here, you can see that I have the Mr. Heater bag. Now the hose and the heater, I think for emergency preparedness are mandatory. The bag I like because A, it keeps everything clean um and everything together so your hose it has room actually for two one pound um propane cylinders it just keeps it all together and i really like that because you know when it comes to my garage or my shed things don't necessarily always stay and, together and if these get too dusty they don't light really yes well. now there's so two the things nice yeah the bag kind of helps keep things nice um let's cover that now thanks for bringing that up so when you go to light your heater, if for some reason you have a problem lighting it, okay, go ahead and light it, and you'll see how easy this is. So you're just pushing it down and turning it, and you're gonna do that kind of a couple times. You can see the, can you see my little, you can see a little spark in there sometimes. And these 12 foot hoses, a lot of times they take longer to light to get yeah. the fuel through. So you're kind of, okay, so especially when you're lighting it for the first time, you can see you've got a pilot light. He's holding it down on, in the pilot setting. And I like to hold it down until I start to see color on um, like some yellow and orange on my little um, pad here. But the couple times that I'm like, ah, you know, I've had this heater for about 10 years and I've lit it myself multiple, multiple times, but there've been a couple times that I've been frustrated because I'm like, why isn't this lighting? What is wrong? And it's always one of two things. It's either that my pilot light and in there is dusty. Um, and so what you need to do is you can try to just blow it, you know, with your mouth or, you know, just blow into their air into there or an air compressor, you know, just blow some air in there. Um, so that's one of the reasons that I, and he's turned that to low, so he didn't even wait till it turned a color. He's got it going. Oh, no, I was um, and the other thing is, is you figure you've got to get gas from the tank through a 12 foot hose to here. So if it's like the first time you're just hooking it up and stuff, it takes, you might have to click it a couple times to get that fuel through that 12 foot line it takes about 30 seconds to 40 seconds to get through the to line. get through the line um something that geez that's hot um something that okay i lost my train of thought because i started cooking to death i'm like cooking to death um 
What was I going to say? Oh, 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 I know. Um, when I go to turn off my Mr. Buddy, I don't actually, when I'm hooked to a 20 pound tank, I don't actually turn it off here. I actually turn it off at, I turn my gas off and then let the heater burn off all the fuel and it eventually turns off and then all. Can we do that? Now? Yeah, do that now. Yeah. Holy moly. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> um anyway okay so now it's off so now i'm gonna flip the switch okay um i don't like to talk numbers but numbers are important on this um as far as the this buddy heater will heat my house um about it's so my about kitchen area it's like 450 475 square feet, or 450 square feet square yeah. feet which means nothing to me so for those of you who you know don't like walk off an area and know how many square feet something is four and a half bedrooms <laughs> <laughs> jim says it's four and a half bedrooms if they're 10 by 10 rooms. if they're 10 by 10 rooms which i can do that math um but really it's my family room and my um dining room my kitchen dining room area the great room, the great room kind of an area so that's about what it will heat you know for reference Okay, so we're skipping over the portable buddy. Um, now for, I've made this cool little, where's my sheet? Okay, Jim's gonna play with the little buddy for a sec. You can see that he's got the propane thing here. The pilot light. Um, and he's gonna get that lit. And it just, you can see that it just kind of screws on to one of the one pound tanks. This sucker I love for actually when I'm doing this calling, and I'm out in my garage <laughs> giving out chocolate or Mr. Buddy heaters or anything that we do during the winter, actually. And um, it keeps my hands from getting frostbite. So I love this little buddy. Um, it would also be great if it's just you at like a baseball game or something. So anyway, that's what I like this for. But I wanted to show you this comparison oh, well, sheet. See, I missed it. Oh, Sorry, you missed it? it but sometimes if it doesn't light right there, sometimes if I let go of it and it doesn't light, but if, I, if I've held it long enough for the pilot light, then a lot of times that ceramic plate will just be covered with dust. And so you just have to blow it off, like with an air compressor or something like that. So yeah, so these things don't like dust. That's one thing that I think we've learned through having these for several years. Well, that's why it's good to put them in a Yeah, good to have bag. them in a bag. Um, but this one doesn't have a bag, so. <laughs> I don't need, I guess you're going to have to find your own bag. Okay, so this Mr. Buddy comparison sheet you can find on the website um, www.caffeinatedpreparedness or www.caffprep, C A F F P R E P dot com. And it's the comparison sheet. And it's nice because it goes over all the different heaters, how long they each last on the one pound tanks versus the 20 pound tanks versus low versus high. So it's all broken down. It also talks about like how many square feet it heats. Um, anyway, so that's kind of what it does. Now, something that I love about the Mr. Buddy heaters is you can do them in the house. Now you normally would never, 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 never bring a propane, um, even a lantern into your house but these have an oxygen depletion system. Sensor. Sensor. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> Keeping me, you know. No, I'm sorry. And he says, I woman, like, what is your word for that? Okay. Woman, woman splain? No, no, I, I woman don't say splain? That. I don't say I'm, that. I'm calling woman I'd splain get in on you. I that. No, I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> woman splaining. You're woman splaining me. Um, Anyway, so you these have all of these have all of these heaters and the same with the portable buddy have that system on them. They also have a tip over switch. So if like it tips over, um, they will turn off if you get too high in elevation. Like if you try to take it up to um, oh, like awesome. strawberry reservoir, it doesn't love strawberry reservoir. The one thing about the flex system it can go i think these the heaters go up to seven thousand yeah seven thousand um elevation but the buddy flex goes up to nine thousand elevation so 
the that's a difference it is, there. It, it's not like it, um, like it just has an oxygen depletion sensor on it. It's not letting out a lot of CO2. So what it's checking is your oxygen levels, which is why it doesn't like the higher elevations. But um, sometimes when you're running it in your house, sometimes you do have to create an, like an like an, an opening. Source, yeah. So what I would do is if I was going to put the big buddy in my house, which I will if there's an emergency, I don't ever bring in your big tanks into the house, your big propane tanks into the house. What I would do is I would leave this propane tank either outside and run the hose in through a window or through like leave this in the garage and bring it in through the door. Um, do not bring your big propane um, tanks into the house. The heater, yes. The propane tanks, no. Um, the little buddy is seeming like it just doesn't want to light. It, it got dusty. It got dusty. It needs to be, you know, this. it yeah. decided yeah. that it's on camera. Got a little camera shy. So anyway, we'll move on. But um, this is, that's just the little buddy. I do like it. Okay. So the flex system, this is a new system. Um, like I said, it does go up to the higher elevations and it also has, you can see how this, you've got heat coming out the sides as well as the front, whereas the big buddy, it's just coming out the front. So this one's but, kind of just a one person heater and this one's more like a two or three person. No, like really, because this one right here, when you're cold, just one person Yeah, if you're going to be up against it, like if you're going to have one of those people like always jumping in the if fire. If you're in a tent. If you're in a tent, okay. Um, let's talk safety right now, talking tents. Okay, I want you to, this gets hot. In fact, I started my pants on fire <laughs> with this <laughs> once when I was painting in the garage. I had it close to me. I had like bell bottomy pants on and my pants went through the, through the grid and actually looked down because my leg was getting awfully hot. And sure enough, <laughs> I had lit my pants on fire. So moral to the story, when you bring this, when you're burning this, you need to have someone present in the room. You do not want to light this and leave. You do not want to put it on your carpet um, you know, and let the kids have a powwow around it. It needs to be probably on a countertop, on a tabletop. Treat it like you would a lit candle. You would never give your kids a lit candle and say, here, you know, roast a marshmallow over this. You, you really need to treat it like it's a candle. It's safe for the house, but you have to use common sense and always, always, always read the instruction manuals that come with it. Um, just it's just smart okay so here's the buddy flex now i'm going to tell you right now the couple of cool features i've told you yes i like that it goes to a higher elevation i don't know why because i don't like ice, ice fish but okay um and i like the the how the heat goes kind of around um instead of just forward the reason i don't like the flex over the buddy for the money um, the big buddy is your best option. It's, it just, um, is, it's less expensive than the flex. Um, the other thing is, is the flex does not heat. It doesn't get as hot like the BTUs. Um, the max on it is 11,000 11, versus, versus 18,000 BTUs. I know again, numbers, but basically what it means is it's not going to this one, um, the heating area is 275 square feet versus the 450 square feet. So for emergency preparedness purposes, I mean, let's be honest. I love this heater. I probably will get one because that's what I do. Um, but really for the money, um, the big buddy, I think is the best bet for emergency preparedness. And the big buddy's nice because it goes down to 4,000 and up to 18 for this one i think it's lowest setting yeah 6, lowest 000. six so you're burning through your fuel faster on this and if you're in a small area you may not want 6, yeah 000. if you were in a super small because six this, thousand this right might be too much is sometimes good for for like a smally need. tent yeah. type thing no, no. tents kind of cool off quickly but a smaller room like the snowmobile trailer that's almost too much for it. for it so anyway just a couple things on the flex Okay, the Flex has a heater, so we're gonna turn this off. 
again, so hot. This is, you, I know it seems like a crazy time to be thinking heaters. Again, with the quick, it has a quick connect yeah, on it. Yeah, let me it. show that. So this is the same kind of this quick connect that the big buddy the has. Yeah. But can you see how that just, that's like so sweet. Um, okay, so we're gonna use the pilot light. Actually uses this. Now the cooker, you cannot use the cooker in the house. Okay, did you catch that? Do not use the cooker in the house. Um, if you don't have um, another way to cook food, you know, like an outdoor type camp chef oven thingy, um, the Flex might be a good option for you, you know, for an all-in-one thing. Um, but this actually, there's a five pound limit on this cooker. Uh, and a gallon of water is eight pounds, so. Yeah, so you're cooking less than a gallon of, of, water. of weight on yeah. your cooker. I do love how this hooks together. See, I think I'm in love with, I, I do, I'm not in love with the flex cooker, but I do like it because it does have some kind of coolie features. I, I really love the bag. It's a backpack. <laughs> it's any the, the way they package it sherry always likes that <laughs> I know. The, the one thing though about this is you can only run the cooker or the heater you can't run both at one you time run both, yeah. and and you actually have to light a pilot light on this unit right here before i can even try to light the unit here so you'll notice that this is already lit and it's turned on i had to do the whole pilot light thing and everything with that but and then we like this that's that is another difference so this actually takes a battery both the heater and the cooker because the pilot light is actually runs off of a triple a battery on both of these yeah, yeah, yeah. where you can hear the clicky um where the all the other heaters don't they it's just you don't need a battery you don't need a lighter it they just lights snap. it just snaps so anyway there's our heater okay jim turn that off because we have to show like if there's one reason, I'm telling you, if I get the flex, <laughs> it's only gonna be because of so the, the, the cool bag, the cool backpack bag, which personally I would never wear because I would make my kids pack it in if it needed to be packed in. Or, and I love how it, um, see how the hose kind of goes, just kind of snaps in there. Now this, um, the flex heater, the big buddy heater and the portable buddy heater can all be hooked to your 20 pound propane tank. Your, the um, baby buddy, the little buddy cannot. It can only be hooked to these one pound cylinders. You might, you might so, want to pause and let that cool because it's it too, still too hot. Is it too hot? Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna pause because that would require editing. But basically what happens is the heater I just don't want to well, I don't want to hurt it. So see, it kind of, it goes on there and then these little, like you attach it and like you can carry it as one unit, which, you know, it just kind of, it speaks to me for some reason. So anyway, I hope I've answered some questions. Uh, anything else, Jim Butt? No. Nope. Think we're good? All right, thanks, bye.